Greetings to everyone. Today we are testing a new build, guys. We will be testing Rift Maker Shen. Now this is gonna be a little bit exciting because I will be incorporating Rift Maker third item into my usual Challenger Shen build, featuring um, first of all Hollow Radiance, Dead Man's Plate, and then third item. I'm still figuring out what is the best third item, so I'm gonna try. If Rift Maker third would be viable as an option, and I think it, it, it has a lot of power in this build. I have not played it a single time yet, so this is gonna be my first time testing it. I'm gonna go for the Pulse Fire here. Mm, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna switch up this rune. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> what have I done here, man? This is an old account, like a Diamond Elo, I think. Uh, that's correct. Name has to be something better. Shogun Rift. Maker. Grasp. Shield bash. Second wind. Overgrowth. Cheap shot. HP. Looking good. Looking good. I think we're facing an Irelia. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. What? It's Irel King, guys. You won't believe it. We found Irel King in Europe West Diamond ELO. That's crazy. <laughs> That's really crazy, guys. We, we found the best Korean uh, Irelia in the world. Just hiding in Europe West Diamonds. This is gonna be a great banger. <laughs> Hello everyone, Sid uh, Jr. Thanks for the tier 1 subscription for 20 months. Appreciate it. Mm. And uh, hello Denise, hello Diego, hello Marcus. Thank you very much for the messages, guys. And we are cooking today. Uh, I mean, I think I'm pretty confident into Iralia. I will go Dead Man's Plate first, uh, but probably Bummy Cinder is worth to purchase before that. So, Bummy Cinder, I mean, it kind of looks like it kind of looks like a Steel Caps game, to be honest. Kind of looks like a Steel Caps game. You know, mm, it's definitely a Dead Man's game because of Ash. I mean, every game is a every game is a Dead Man's game. But because of Ash slows, Echo slows, Soraka slow, uh, Irelia slow actually. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be Dead Man's for the slow resistance. But yeah, I'm thinking Steel Caps could be good this game. Also in top lane, I prioritize less Ionian boots because um, if you don't have TP, then you won't have as many ultimate opportunities in top lane. In mid lane, you can use ultimate whenever it's up, basically. Did you get AP or attack speed chart? Uh, adaptive force. Okay, okay. Ready to go. On my main account, guys, I already reached 1k LP. Can I make some YouTube videos about the climb there? I dropped down a bit now. I'm, I think I'm behind like uh, 970 LP or something. But like. I don't know. I'm pretty feel good. I'm feeling pretty good about my gameplay right now. I have played only on main account and only off stream, and just focusing on my gameplay, watching Chinese and Korean replays to get better. All right, all right. I'm ready to cook. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. Mm. It's gonna be it's gonna be a Doran shield for me. I don't think I have an item set here. Yeah, this is old items. I mean, I can use this. I can use this. It's fine. This one. This one. This one. Yo, Dozoka, thank you for the uh, gracious donation. Love you too, man. Rift make a reversion. I next game dare you. I, I don't want to play reversion. I'll be honest here. Midland reversion is fine, but not like you know, classic reversion. I'm gonna flank these guys. Create a little flank opportunity here. Hello, buff jungle. I'm gonna bait them a little bit. I still have E if I need it. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna recall here. <laughs> Did you see that? Only my reaction time. No way. No way, no way, that was crazy. <laughs> Echo 
don't flash over the wall to kill me, but I flashed at the same time, he couldn't get out of the cop. <laughs> ai, 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 ai. <laughs> Axpetu, first form. A flash reaction. <laughs> okay, guys, what are we doing here? We are legit running it. Oh, they both flash. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm missing experience top lane. I'm gonna go mid lane now. Go top lane. Hey, no way. Hey, he's, he's just he's just too good. Okay, I'm going back to top lane. Bye bye, guys. <laughs> we do a little river action there. Pick up the first blood for Gragas. Or not really first blood, since he was the fourth blood already. I just go back to lane. I don't know if I can go. He's level two, so I'm gonna go over here. I use my taunt out of vision, so she doesn't know uh, like if I have it. And ideally so that my passive shield is already down when I come back to lane, so she doesn't know. She could, uh, she could uh, deduce it from the energy, right? So we're still good. I'm just gonna chill here. Get some farm. We don't need to do anything crazy. We got a little bit. I mean, it's not really an advantage since we are even. But I think mid lane has an advantage. Just gonna farm this out very patiently. Irelia is gonna make a mistake at some point. She's gonna be ahead for most of the game now. But she's gonna mistake, make a mistake at some point and then we punish. Grab that minion, so that I can last it with Q. These ones need one more auto attack. This one needs one more auto attack. I'm gonna prep this. No. Wait for the minions to hit. I'm gonna lose that one. He really missing. Wait for the minions to hit. I'm gonna look for... I mean, I don't wanna EQ this near. I need to get level 4 for W. I'm gonna put a ward down. Via goes bot lane though. Was a waste of ward actually. I should save it. I really got hit by that. It's crazy. I need to be out of Q range there. Okay. She plays that well. I mean, it is Irel King after all. It is Irel King after all. I just need to get experience here. It's gonna be difficult laying phase. She still has TP. I don't so. What? That's beautifully. I have to stay near tower so that she can't use her uh, leftover Q on me. Still have health potion. She has limited mana, but she has biscuits, so she actually has unlimited mana. She wants to get kind of minion here with Q. She actually is quite good with her ease. Just need to chill. It's not like I can kill her. But under tower with ignite is possibility. She wants to recall now. So I'm gonna be annoying. I'm just delaying her recall. That's all. I'm not gonna permanently freeze obviously. Not possible. But if I delay her recall. It's quite worth She's already gonna TP back, but her TP cooldown will be longer. I mean, actually, like, she she didn't need to TP if she... I have two potions, by the way, I just realized. Um, but I think she needs to TP now. I'm not sure, maybe she just walks back. We're gonna relax here a little bit until level 6. It's good that we have actually that second potion. I need to watch out for her level 6 all in. It's quite strong. Oops, messed up. I should have killed the first minion to have more time for the second one. She's stronger than me, so I don't want to fight. I'm gonna get the kind of minion. This is fine. Still need to care for her level 6, that's why I'm not doing anything. I'm not going further up. If she queues on me here, I can get down under tower. Just playing for down under tower here. Pull her back. 
on kyllä verran op op opening. I think this minion dies from one. Oh, it doesn't. Nice. Look mid lane. How nice bot lane doing? I have insane amount of gold. I get old bot lane. Mid lane also a possibility. Bot lane didn't seem that good. I didn't think. I, I want them to like overextend and then I will loot. I need to watch out for Irelia cancelling me though. I'm still gonna look on Gragas. I want them to overextend for this. They don't. It's really bad for me to ult in this wave state, so that's why I don't want to ult on this corner. It's possibly worth. Maybe I could on purpose let cancel her or let her cancel me. Oh, she got Q, so she didn't take tower shit actually. That crash broke her. She knows I don't have taunts, that's why she walked up like that. She wants to get the tower plating. Wait for auto so that minions damage. Okay, nice last hit thing. I think they win without me. I'm channel recall here to bait irreliability. That's fine. I don't need to double you because I had passive shield residue. I missed. That was really bad. She could have killed me there after I missed. Ah, oh, didn't get it off, man. I cast it, but it didn't go off. Like it was really chill. I was trying to bait her in to do the last last Q. That sucks. Well, it happens. The the missed taunt was the real mistake. I'm gonna ult for the team now. I think. I mean, it really sucks to ult here actually. Oh holy moly! Europe Diamond West, Iron King is going crazy. <laughs> It looks a little bit troll that I used use my W earlier, but legit I was just hunting for the perfect. Because like if I use W early, I'm not gonna kill her. I'm just gonna deny this Krug take. I'm super strong compared to this guy actually. But not strong enough to 1v2. I have Tubbies, so I'm fine here. I mean, I just got a recall. I do have red buff healing, but no need to stay at this HP here. I could go Varden as well, I could be really annoying. Not necessarily good, but I want to be annoying here, I think. Also, I don't know if I need Hollow Radiance that early on, to be honest. I could do some forbidden tech here and go Rift Maker instantly. She doesn't have Q. She's really far ahead of me because she got all the tower plates and a kill. I'm stronger than her though. I'm gonna freeze here, she needs to TP then. Echo is probably gonna come. I don't wanna damage the ranged minions with Tommy's. To kill angle for me. She wants to get the kind of me. I don't want to fight her with her imp. Wait for it to run out. Nope. I'm not sure. She had a lot of movement speed, surprisingly, actually. Probably need to ult. But again, it's like I'm I'm sacking my own life for ulting here. And the ult opportunities haven't been that good. Like still this is Ah, it's so ass. It's really bad. Alright, Ash is here as well. Okay, we kill one at least. I shouldn't have ulted. Mm. I'm gonna go Varden smell here. Give me three kill. 
She takes my tower, I think. This is why I prefer mid lane so much to top lane. <laughs> mid lane, top lane is so punishing, man. It's so punishing. And you really don't want to take TP. It's a bad summoner spell for Shen. Because it's useless afterwards. Like, it's useless after lane phase, in my opinion. Not useless, but Ignite is much more fun. But top lane you get punished so much. Mid lane is so much better. the range minions here. Shut down. This guy's going for new um, Nyla build. Goes Essence Reaver into Infinity Edge. Can't miss taunt, that's the most important thing. She is unable to do anything because I have taunt up. If I use taunt in not a good way, then I will lose the lane face again. Grasping jungle I think is a little bit troll from Skarner. But maybe she has... I mean he's going for um, half steel. Gotta outspace her autos. He's gonna look for Q girl. Need to disrupt the minions from hitting tower. Otherwise she can go for tower kill instead of me. Thirty seconds ulti. I'm gonna lose this tower very soon. Okay, Viego's mid lane. That gives me a little bit of hope. I thought Viego would come top lane directly. She has better win king completed, so she is uh, strongest champion in the game. I don't have W, so this is a little bit scary here. You could go for tower here. I think I will recall after this wave, because she's gonna dive me otherwise. Yeah, we got Soraka heals. It's gonna let her, let her take it. Oh, do we go dead mass? I think we do. This is good, maybe. This is good. Yeah! Ah, oh, missed. I was looking for E flash on Soraka, but she didn't overextend. Nice. I got shut down on Ira. I'm gonna catch this wave, and no power play things up anymore. I can still look for E-Flash on Soraka, but she got healing now, so I'm gonna die. Plus she has the support item, so I need to hit her before engage, but that's quite impossible for me, right? Ash is gonna be back here. I need the dead man's blade very soon, otherwise I will, I will get kited to death. I need to play super patiently here. My Senna is very, very strong actually. She has a hit kills. <laughs> Mortal reminder eclipse completed. How low is this tower? Okay, we're chilling here. I'm gonna let that minion die. Didn't take any damage yet. I can probably catch her with E-Flash, but... I don't know about her sums. I, I screwed that up really bad. That was just bad movement. I I gave too much bummy cinder damage for free. I can zone her a little bit. My life's moving. I don't think Senna should be here, personally. Like, okay, we're fighting now. <laughs> this is an ass. Holy. I gave her a heal. That was bad. Those are a little bit annoying here. Yeah. Oh, okay, they follow with flash. That's why you need dead mass plate. Like it's a legit unplayable versus Ash without dead mass plate. Like uh, you can't do anything because you try to like 
posture forward and she is just gonna even if she doesn't perfectly kite because of her slows she will always stay alive or out of range rather and thus alive mm. i'm not taking that much magic damage though echo is not really focusing me which makes sense i'm gonna finish the dead mass bite and then i'm just gonna I mean, I should finish Hollow Radiance first, it's gonna make me tankier, honestly. Plus, increased wave clear. I'm gonna go the right path here, I'm just gonna have to delay the Rift Maker. Just banging my head against bot lane here. I have to go top lane. They have a couple of Borks. Borkalicious team. Mm. Borders may have got good value here. I don't know if it was worth to delay Deadmau5 for this though. I don't usually build Wardens like ever on my main account. Because I think rushing Deadmau5 is the most important thing. Or Holo, depending on matchup. to recall after this wave. Yes, very solid ease. From the shadows. It's not like really a fightable matchup. Just play the Red King. Unless you are like monster ahead. Mid lane matchups are really nice compared to top lane matchups. Top lane champions are so overpowered. Mid laners are much more balanced champions in my opinion. I should be looking to recall. Here like you roam top. But I wanna get this wave, and then I need to get a good wave, or good position for recall, so that they don't catch me. I'm gonna go here, most likely out of vision. Yeah, we should. Get this, and then um, magic resist. Complete hollow, and then rift maker. Quite strong now, so I could go for an ultimate to fight. Gonna go on that. What's her name? Sen. Oh, I just realized I had to run, set, run setting. Count, nice. I have. Um, I need to have this. Because I'm a boomer and I can't. Notice the skins and the champions immediately. I'm gonna go for a flank play here. Nice, oh, got Soraka ulti. Big damage from Deadmans. Yep, we can take Drake. I'm gonna ward this. I'm gonna switch to Blue Trinket next back. Pretty sure. How much is hollow? First. Yeah, that's pretty happy. Okay. Ideally farm bot lane here, I'm gonna go there first. Otherwise someone else would go here. up the minions. I'm giving space for Senna to appear without vision. Maybe Irelia wants to last hit this. I don't think she saw Senna, pretty sure. Do the souls appear by the way? But if the souls appear it means 
He's in vision. He's not good. Okay. Worked. I just wanna get this wave and then recall. Craggy going for some kind of play. Ay ay ay. That's my bad. Can we take the tower? I'm gonna tank that. How do we play this? I mean, I guess we play with Senna. I taunt this guy. I still have ultimate. There goes here. Fuck, we have a W. Oh. I'm gonna need to dodge a hair W. Bait to one side. Dead man's plate will get me out here. Did we get Baron? I need to move it in other decks to get full dead mass damage. Get this and uh, Ruby Crystal for Rift. Nice macro. Solid switch to blue. I'll go bot side, take the tower. Get me some gold towards Rift Maker. I need someone to defend top side. With balanced steps. Deadman's played one shot to these minions. Build up Deadman's damage, get the cannon minion with increased damage. Somehow feel a little rigid, like not as fast. There are bright settings everywhere. I'm gonna take the tower here with Deadman's. Yeah, could did more damage than I thought. Dead man gets me out here. She has a lot. Of, he has a lot of damage with crack. Like she, he is full DPS, right? She, ha he has so much damage. I don't have the item, right? I could wait here. Okay, let's go. Take Hex, take Portal 15 on ultimate. I wanna get this wave before ulting. Diego flanking, I wanna kinda stop that flank with an ultimate ideal. Probably ulting on Senna is really good. Ult on Nyla here. I'm gonna tank the tower, to get a kill tower actually first. It's not, it's not a miss, miss on Ash actually, it's covering her option. Because if she postures forward, she's gonna die to Senna. And if she moves backward, she's gonna get hit by my taunt. I'm gonna tank the tower here. Lock Echo E. The problem with Riftmaker is that uh, I cannot buy it because some um, game ends before three items usually. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to get this build a couple of times, and and Riftmaker legit, it, it's it's only good third item, like it's not good second item. Uh, but I have a tendency to end the games before three items, so I'm suffering from success there. Riftmaker is just too OP, like can't even get it in my inventory before it wins the game. Let's try next game. <laughs> You like that? Season 2017 solo do a challenger icon. <laughs> Earned that one on Nordic East, by the way. It's a transfer account. Yo, Zoe, how you doing, man? Thanks for the subscription. 
Hearthstone WoW is common with Skarner Jungle. <laughs> you mean Hearthsteel WoW? Hey Petu, I follow you on YouTube. Your videos are really cool to watch. Thanks for content. Thanks mate. Why is Rift Maker good? I don't know. We're about to find out. I haven't bought it yet. What region is this account on? It's on Europe West. Ah, Wiener's Q looks so good on this snowy day. <laughs> is that a typo or on purpose? Why not Leon Restorement? Because Riftmaker offers a lot more of the things that a tank would want rather than Lyandris. If you want to compare those two, I can bring them up. Lyandris, Torment. If you compare these two, Riftmaker costs 100 gold more, so Leandris wins in that regard. I would rather have a cheap item. Build path um, is better for Riftmaker because I don't really care about purchasing Blasting Wand, but I do care about Ability Haste for Ultimate. Uh, then, if you compare the stats, right? Torment, dealing ability damage burns enemies. This deals percentage maximum HP target on enemies. Uh, if you assume that items are roughly equivalent in power, you have to think that, which is not true, but if you assume that, then you have to pick a champion that is able to apply Lion Reese Torment, like the, actually the Torment passive, very well. And uh, Shen does not have a ranged AoE ability or a dot ability to keep applying Torment, so it doesn't seem to be that good. And then you have Suffering, which is just a weaker version of Void Corruption. Because this stacks up more, gives you exact same like velocity of stacking, but it stacks up for longer. And you get access to Void Infusion, which is AP based on your bonus health. And we are building two HP items before purchasing Riftmaker. This also has more health in itself. Shen doesn't really care about the AP that much in terms of raw stats. Ability Haste is a better stat than ab Ability Power for Shen. So Riftmaker seems to be the better option, just based on numbers. Does Shen Q even apply Leandri? Yes, it does. Oh, I have mid matchup. Now this is nice. I'm gonna ban Ahri here. When is your trial in front of the National Solo Queue Security Council for your crimes that include but are not limited to encouraging Solo Queue, mm, blatant grief builds and emotional agony of fellow players? Uh, your Honor, uh, I plead the seventh. My win rate is higher than yours, therefore you cannot give me a sentence. Is this first picket here? <laughs> They won't know it's mid lane. They got no clue, guys. I should probably swap and give them Skarner first pick because now these guys are probably gonna pick Skarner. Nah, not, not really. I enjoy Riftmaker on tank Diana top. Also, never sooner than third item, usually fourth. Yep, it's just the item functions better later on. Because it has like built-in scaling from base DPS from the damage increase plus the void infusion gives you just more value the later you build it on. Maybe a skin issue. Maybe I need to go Warlord. Warlord without Chroma. That's some OG stuff. Because this chroma, uh, chromas were obviously implemented like afterwards, like before you used to just have Warlord. But they brought out the chromas like many years later after the introduction of the skin. Because I, I think these chromas came out after rework and the skin was out before rework, but I'm not 100% sure. Warlord Shen. Yeah, it was it was a way. <laughs> yeah, it was already in season two that you had Warlord Shen. <laughs> uh, 
I want to see the old one actually. Yo, oh, it's my video. Should we watch? <laughs> Yo, he got the season 2 trip. What? It's so small the flag compared to the new one. If you look here, flag is big. What am I facing mid lane? Annie, I guess. If light travels so fast, how come it's never caught a ninja? You're already dead. You just how is this Dominion but yet? on normal summoner shift? Interesting. You guys ever played Dominion? It was a fast and fun game mode. I played it. Sometimes when I've had a horrible day with Shen, I put on search and Shen because I need a doctor to fix me some wins. <laughs> okay, we got some meatballs and then two carries. A little low on the ability power damage, but maybe Ska Volibear will go for AP match damage. Any matchup. Interesting. It's a start E angle here. I'm gonna be honest guys, I was kind of thinking of going for rank 1 before split ends But man, it takes so much time to play in high elo Like, I, for example, there's just no point in streaming like on my main account First of all, because of the um, Like actual, like I want to perform the best possible on my main account But then the second thing is that I'm sitting in queue for 15 minutes And then I get lobby full of master players And I'm the only challenger there and then there's a couple of dodges in between. I mean, the dodging situation is not as bad as it used to be in previous seasons, actually. So I won't complain about that. But like, I don't know, because the daytime, I, like, I play during the day because I'm in, like, my... I don't think I have this kind of visual effect on my main account in the bush. I'm not sure, though. I think this one has... I think I usually play like low. Yeah. Press on. I'm gonna start E here. She won't expect it. And then I can get a good trade. Wait for Grass Proc before I go for last auto. I take Electrocute there, but it's fine. Her HP is much more important than mine. Now we just wait for my next taunt. Maintain Grasp. And she's dead. Quite simply delicious. This is why I play Shen mid lane, by the way. Legit. So much better roll. So much better roll than top lane. She TPs. I didn't even try to push because she's just gonna TP back to lane. Oh, I tank it completely with shield. That's completely fine. Ideally, actually, I take one damage from it so that my second wind and orange shield trigger. I'm gonna ward down. I'm gonna play bot side here. Do I take W? It could be a Y gank. I'm gonna go two points in Q. Tank this with passive shield. No. Oh. oh, that was nice actually. Because my, now my Doran shield lasts for longer. Because it activated on the first ability that she hit. So, net positive. And I last hit this without Q. Block one. Maybe I should not block that out of that, I think I will heal more. Use passive shield on an ability rather. I will kill her here. That's good trade. Mm. I'm not gonna go Ionian. Yet. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Control. I don't usually purchase control ward this early on, but I'm gonna place it in a location where it doesn't get killed. Skarner, who got it? Did I get it with smite? I'm wrong down for this. 
gonna go over the wall. The wave state was so good for this. Ah, the minion moved so it didn't get hit by the melee minions enough. So I couldn't auto attack it with. I have boots advantage, so I should be. Ah, nice. She gets movement speed from her. Hey, don't don't take my experience. I'm gonna delay this minion take. So. Junglers get so much reduced experience from minions that it's definitely not worth to share XP with them. I'm fine taking auto attacks. I'm gonna block the next one though. Got the taunt. MQ. Delay my auto attack so I get the kill. <laughs> and also delay for grass proc. Keep wave state here. Um, they have four range minions, should be enough to keep this in a freeze for now. Although the minions hit the tower. Gonna have to kill this. Wait for the. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I think I could have gotten it if I waited just one frame more. Wait for the last minion auto attacks. Gonna hit level 6 soon. Gonna go for taunt here. Gets me a good trade. Grass proc as well at the end. Get stunned, which means I die here. I can maybe sidestep this Q. some of the experience here. Do, 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 do. Go for this. Sidity boots on ulti. I'm ready to go here. He missed. Big ulti to stop. W to block Zyra out of attacks. Zyra plant out of attacks, I mean. I'm gonna walk here. There's bad ultimate. I'm gonna control guard that. It will get cleared soon, but it will get value because Y is gonna path both side. See her ward. Ideally, now just need to maintain the advantage over any. Don't step into Pumis in the range of minion. I'm gonna walk directly for Y. And now she will get over wall, so I'm gonna go over wall here. Okay, that's fine. I get experience. Just prevented the possibility of her escaping through here. Very unselfishly. Selflessly, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm fine to tank this. I have bummies, so I will take tower aggro, but if I maneuver around her, I can hit the tower. She wants to put me in melee range. The worst thing is to take tower aggro and then get stunned. There. So we're not gonna do that. 1350. This game they don't have that much movement speed or sl slows. So I could maybe go. I mean, really want to finish Dead Mass before I go Rift Maker though. Because you want the HP, you don't just want the armor. I'm gonna block the next auto deck. Minus 60 damage. Why is bot lane? I'm gonna go for a trade here. Stay out of tower range. She might ult otherwise. I'm gonna look for a, when the melee minion goes into tower range. Okay, it doesn't. If it went into tower range, I would look for one other deck. Pressure her a little bit. Now wave is in good position. I look for a kill. I don't see why though. She's in very dangerous position. But I, I guess why will be here. I'm gonna walk forward, better ability. Okay, we got her flash. Why is moving now? Okay, that's crazy. I 
I mean, I would have killed if I stayed there with Ignite. So maybe that was my bad. But honestly, I don't think why I would have been that aggressive if I was near, right? So that situation doesn't necessarily develop the same way if I stay there. I don't have... Okay, I have. I can just wait in base. I have to cover this far. Does she die? She just dies. But I can still win this. I just need to not get hit by YQ. I'm gonna chill here a little bit. Put her over the wall. I hope it doesn't cancel my recall. <laughs> no, I mean, well played by her. I could kill bot lane as well, they have control ward. Recall now. A lot of gold in inventory. Um, what do I get cancelled by? Legit? Was it Jin W or something? It sounded like Jin W, so I assume it was. I mean, there's nothing else that could have hit me. I don't have quite enough experience for foresight alteration. Is there merit for Iceborne over Deadmans? No, Deadmans is superior. Legit in every game. Movement speed is so OP. Okay, we see set there. Good information. Uh, we are gonna get it this game though. Unless we make opponent surrender before third item. For sure, get to test out Rift Maker now. It'll be interesting to see for, like in 1v1 or set, for example. I'm gonna collapse on Y here. I mean, she's gonna go over to the wall. Uh, I don't have E. I have to uh, I mean, I really want to punish this guy. But I'm just gonna start stacking Grasp now, first. Get that. And then when she moves up and lets me get MQ. If she does. She doesn't. She's well respected by her. Just gonna keep this here. Use Q for shield. Immediate. Gonna ward this. I don't know, and he's roaming. I'm gonna push the wave then. I'm gonna get some tower plattings. Still two and a half minutes of tower plattings left. Just chill. Oh, the deck. Why tries to cover this? I'm gonna move back a little bit so that I can get taunt. Get MQ. Punish her a lot. Move out so that I can get tower. Okay. The last uh, movement was bad. Took tower shot for no reason. She cannot now defend because um, I would kill her under tower. So I can get the tower planting. Annie is moving here. Nice. I mean, this ward covers it pretty well. Maybe she went for recall instead. Okay, she's here. I don't want to taunt in because why can ult me immediately? I can't stand that burst because I don't have armor yet. I'm just gonna zone her off. He creeps here with the blade. She cannot cross this path ever. I'm just doing this for show, by the way. I would normally last hit this, but I'm just doing it as educational aspect. Again, like look, we are I'm gonna just last hit this in between. Just creating a line. Set this all in in Oliver. This is how you zone range champions. Oh, nice try. To myself. <laughs> nice. Just pressure here so that Y would go come mid lane. I'm not gonna tank tower here. I'm gonna move up so that I get stunned. He waste all her abilities. Just, just pressure a little bit. This way I soak up jungle pressure, because Y needs to decide does she want to come mid lane or does she want to do something else. I'm gonna back off, so that she can't stun me. Y is bot lane. I got MQ, I can one shot her. I 
I'm, I fucked up. <laughs> My bad. I was I was um, like hasty because I didn't know how long she would be. But she, was she stunned stand at all? No, she wasn't stunned. I went into ult bot top lane. Okay, well I'm gonna kill her here. Put bot lane. I ult on this. No need to waste W because they're not being hit. I'm gonna use W now. They're gonna be over the wall here, so I'm gonna dodge the Zyra E. I don't really want to stay here. I'm gonna bait Jin W with movement. Chilling. I get energy from plant. Okay, she doesn't summon plant. I don't have Ignite though. I need to watch out for YQ. They wasted a lot of time there by me staying. Or rather, I wasted their time, right? Build these. Zyra. Mm, if they come like this, but I really want to get the minion. I didn't get it, unfortunately. I just want to finish my dead mass and then go side lane. And I smash the plants. Dodge the Zyra E. seconds on ulti. I could sell D-Shield here, but D-Shield is quite valuable. So instead I'm just gonna stay for one more wave. Hello shit. Shit. I get pulled here. Fine though. Mm, this guy's pretty strong. Don't really want to take 2v2 with him. Don't fight that. Holy... That was a sick combo. Okay, random Gino. Just gonna go out. I'm gonna ult back. I shouldn't stay at this HP. I have my item. Let me recall, please. Yes. Let's go. Karna, let's go. Why do I get movement speed boost? Oh, it's... I missed. My bad. Bad W. Unnecessary. And mistimed. Jin wants to go for auto, so I'm gonna kill. Okay, flash is better than kill, actually. That guy is dead. Tower. I'm gonna try to help Volibear. Arp! Chomp. Nice. I'm alive. What? Really? Damn. I have one more second for Q for passive shield. Maybe if I cast it immediately I would block the last one. Ignite reduced my second wind and orange shield healing, so... Well, it's good. We, we we need to give a little bit of shutdown so that the game goes longer, so I can actually reach Rift Maker Spike. Rawr, 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 Skarner, no, 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 Skarner, go. Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> okay, Jinx. Brr, 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 brr. How is Bully losing to Set so hard? Well, I mean, I think Set is a very difficult champion to play against. If you make one mistake and fall behind, you you can never walk up to minion wave without dying. 
at least from Shen set perspective. And pressure her here. Side step side. Plus 50 gold. Waste her time a little bit. I mean, I, I do give gold to Zyra for that. No, actually, she doesn't get that's the minimum wave. Dodge their stuff. Nice. I should catch top wave after mid. There's a flank. I'll open Senna. I don't think it's good though. Flash into W and then blast con. Ai kurva. Need to watch out if Jin W's me. Okay. I could catch mid wave here actually. Jin's gonna look to w me, w me but it doesn't kill anymore. Top wave should also arrive. I'm gonna go there. This is better than recalling. I get huge amount of money here, by the way. You lose Drake, but it's actually fine for the content, you know. Ideally stop mid push though. I can maybe take one more wave. They're just running down. I could get a flank off. I can clear wave and get flank. Okay, set this here. Uh, don't waste E. Let her E first. Fine. Then use blast con. Really look, look to recall here. Catch bot wave afterwards. Um, let's get this. And Tom. Other wave would have been better. Maybe finish codex and. Oh, it's fine. That's 400. Nice. I don't want to get my item, but we can get one more fight before it. <sighs> Remember to move in between all the legs to maximize dead mass flight damage. I'm reminding myself as well as you guys. I didn't switch to blue trinket for some reason, just forgot. A for gore, guys. I can catch one more wave and then waste their time. They're probably gonna collapse on me if I'm this far up, but... Um, I should be able to bait out their CC and then EQ uh, animation cancel ultimate to escape if they come. I've been practicing that one. It's quite a rare mechanic, but you use E and normally you can't ultimate within E. But if you use Q during your E and receive the blade, it resets your champion's action state, which allows you to ultimate. So you need to receive your Q within your E, um, which is quite difficult actually. Um, Go for town here, dodge the ultimate. Then back off, because the enemies can collapse, right? But get their pressure a little bit, move up a little bit so that the enemies come. And then we can play for Baron. If any oversteps like this, I can still punish. And ult on that. Now, slow. And he's gonna take deeper short range. She did not take it out of range for some reason. She wants to cancel my ultimate, maybe? I ult on Jinx. Forbidden one shot combo on Jin. Ignite kills. Chat is still alive. I need to help with this. She do he doesn't expect. Get range for Warrior Bear, dodge her E. 
Don't walk in the same path as Wallybear. She is fast. But we are faster. Okay. Do we go Mullu? I have ultimate. No, I don't. I mean, I have Riftmaker completed if I want. I don't know if I have DPS for this. We have Senna. I think we do. Also, Seth is their strongest member and he's gonna be dead for the entire Baron tech, so this is good. I'm gonna take the Blasting Cone from Y. I guess Karn is gonna do it. Clear the Ward first. I'm gonna take this. I'm really strong, so I can force them out. Block the crit. I'm just gonna be done with the Baron for now. Unless Y makes a mistake, I'm gonna back off immediately, not to die. And then we can keep going. Set is coming though. Can we finish this? Skarn is gonna die. <laughs> Holy set damage. Block her down. Oh, I don't wanna get hit by the W. Okay, enemy triple kill. I'm gonna back off. They can't baron, right? I will make it in time. They will go for it. I will stop it. Do we have do we have blast gone here? I think we do. No. This is gonna make it me movement speed anyways. I can make it in time. I need to focus Jin. He's dead. Rift maker amplified. Can't stop it. Can I escape though? Need to get ulti position. I can get blast gone here and ulti. Wait a minute. Cancelled the buy ultimate, I hope. Into dragon take. Beautiful. Catch both wave after. <laughs> There's a... Uh, I still haven't switched to Scrying Orb. This doesn't see it. My recall of I hope the bot lane here because Garner can't 1v1. I don't know if I can 2v1 either though. Got him under tower. Okay. They're on his both sides, which is scary. Dodge that. Got the taunt off. Reduce her healing or his. Yes. I'm gonna yeah, stay here actually. I'm gonna push the babes. Yes. Two people top, two people mid. I can push. Might be needed now. It's gonna be a tricky game actually. I have ourselves some banger here. 1500. Look to ult there. Could also keep pushing. What is Jim going for? Clear the minions first. Yeah. Skarn's movement was so difficult for me to predict, so I didn't taunt. Recall Tormel. Mm -hmm. Do I need more magic resistance here? We could go for Eclipse. Holy.
Holy. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna unleash it here. Hmm, I got a monster built here. Actually, Eclipse is not a strong last item. It is quite strong. Zyra. It's dead. Just uh, E through her E. Rampage. Dead man's plate allows me to catch up there. Don't overextend because enemies are obviously, obviously coming because they saw me for such a long time. I'm gonna take this for HP. Wait, I could go Titanic, man. I have not built Titanic in like 200 games. <laughs> or 100 games or something. I could go Titanic, yeah, actually. You're right. The old friend. Play that? Maybe we play it. Got the MQ from set. Gonna play it slow here. Not on any. Side next. She's dead. E out of set E range. Omaria Mo. Shinderu. These. Play for set. He has no E. Don't. Play for W here. He still has W. I have to be careful. Okay, nice. Get Dragon. Intrigo. I am monster fed. Honestly, Yaksha would be best last item, I'm gonna be honest here. Like, 100% Yaksha is best last item. I kinda wanna go for that, actually. Like, if I wanted to be real monster here, I would go Yaksha. I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be such a mon- Like, Titanic damage is, is actually irrelevant. I mean, it's not irrelevant, but this is better, because I need to be able to kill the set. Although, she, he does do a lot of true damage. 3200, how much do I get for selling longsword? 240. I need 2950. If I can get Corrompulous, I will have it. Oh, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be massive, guys. Oh my, I have never been this strong on Shen, actually. What you're about to witness right now is gonna be crazy. <laughs> oh man, oh man. We are strong. Let's fight. I'm, I'm down to fight, I'm down to fight, honestly. Okay. Annie, where are you going? I'm monster strong. Enemies are dead, we can get Baron. Ooh. I am close to unkillable here. I can switch my boots for combat boots here. 
630. Ah, uh, no, let's just get the uh, elixir. Tenacity. I'm gonna go split push mode now. I want to limit test a little bit on sideline. With balanced steps. A monster build. Shield bash chilling at 2.5k. How much AP do I have? 200. Okay. From Baron buff as well. Hello Annie. I'm gonna take Tower Agro if she auto attacks me. I can use W. And take a little bit of damage here. They're probably gonna collapse. I want to fight them here on sideline. <laughs> I wanna see what this build can do. I think my team is just winning. Okay, let's do, let's do 1v2. Let's do 1v2. <laughs> Crazy guys. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Monster build. And this is a chill 2k shield as well. Holy. <laughs> I actually felt like a champion right there. I felt like a champion. Woo. <laughs> okay, man. What's the point of this build, by the way? I don't know. To kill your opponents, have fun. Okay, I had most damage dealt from my team. Set did a monster performance as well. <laughs> okay, that was kind of crazy. I don't know about Tornmail. Like, I think it functioned well in the set because of his constant healing. I couldn't have Ignite always for him. But like, I mean, the build was kind of good there. I am having a crush on your channel. You do great work and uh, you are carrying the uh, torch of Finnish League of Legends. Uh, keep going. Thank you, Laura, for the nice comment. <laughs> I felt kind of crazy. Uh, Yaksha was definitely the best last item you could buy. Like, I think Yaksha is so much better than Titanic there. By far. I, or like, you know. I, I mean, you guys can figure it out as well. But like, the amount of effective HP that this item gives there is just crazy. Because you're getting Omnivamp from Rhythmaker, you already have three resistance items, and then you amplify all of those. It's just crazy. It's just really crazy. <laughs> Shen playable ATM? Well, okay, let me show you. Let me show you. You see this? Do you think it's playable? Hmm? I would say it's very playable. Unfortunately, I lost my 60% win rate because I lost another, like, man, like, I was really struggling this game. I don't know if I want to upload it on YouTube because it was, like, I played perfectly, in my opinion. Uh, maybe missed one potential kill, but, like, played close to perfection. Uh, my top lane jungler was just, uh, unfortunately, handless, but, um, yeah, I was kind of going crazy here with my eyes. Had, like, 20 stacks or something. Uh... 
I'm honestly, I'm by me as almost every game was such a troller, man. <laughs> this is a challenger account, by the way. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's okay. Someone requested OPGG review? Okay, let me check. It's probably Tsoi. Uh, viewer rewards. Okay, here we Oh my lord, it's Axe Peter. Axe Peter smurfing, actually. What is this? Axe Peter Shen is 360 LP master with 69% win rate. Nice. And then my guy is going for the uh, Blue Ninja uh, heal, shield, power, build. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Bro's cooking. Bro is really cooking here. I mean, obviously it's just Axe Petus Murph, right? Axe Peter. Um, but um, right, let me ban Aatrox. I don't really want to play with that. Yeah, I mean, hey, keep doing what you're doing. I don't know, like Kainik Rooker, I guess they must have had a lot of AP. But honestly, like, look, man, like, why not this game? Like, why not just go... <laughs> you're buying Redemption for a title version. <laughs> But like, why why not go um, Hollow Radiance? Like honestly, like I don't see like this gives you a little bit more effective HP. I mean, I know that the Mage Ben Shield is amplified by Heal and Shield Power, so that's nice synergy, right? But like, why not just go Hollow Radiance? You get magic resistance as well, and you get access to Wave Clear. And I think it's just good. Anathema stack into Akali, I assume. Classic. So is actually building well. I had another one as well. That's gonna be enough for Toy. He needs to think about his sins. Hurra Kana. Hurra Hurra. We are playing a little bit of one for all, but I was ranked. Guys playing Trindemir. I mean, do you have some Shen games here? I'll get the Shen games. That's my area of expertise. Solid build there, you play top line, okay. Mm, let me just see this. Uh, Orn matchup. Let's see what, I uh, hope you went all out first. Yep, that's good build path. Um, I actually, like, I know this is what I show in my mobile fire guide, I should update that, but I think adaptive force scaling and flat is better. You could go double scaling in a tank matchup, I don't think that's bad. I think Overgrowth is simply better if you go for this kind of build. If you're not going for Moonstone or like Redemption, I, I think it's better to go Overgrowth. I think Overgrowth is just better overall. I, I made a tweet recently about it. So I would switch that to... Switch this to Adaptive Force and to switch this to Overgrowth. I know those are probably the runes that I recommend on uh, Mobile Fire, but I'm just saying it's a little bit outdated sometimes. Um, I'm gonna get counter picked here, but I think we'll be fine. It just doesn't need to be like... Um, Last game with Aerelia. Uh, here, uh, TP game. Did, did they really have that much magic damage that you go two magic resist items in a row? Oh, Garen is so difficult, man. Like, I like mid lane matchups much more than these top lane matchups. I swear they're all like Exodia champions. I'm gonna go Blood Motion. Uh, I really doubt that there was warranted to go two magic resist items. Like, did this guy build? I mean, I probably can't get her build visible on there. Oh, she went, but she went also for. Sorry. She also went for magic damage. I mean, actually, this is a game where you would go to magic resist options, which is kind of crazy to think of it. But honestly, Kalista or uh, Kaiser probably did a lot of physical damage as well. So I don't know. But then again, you are facing only magic damage in the upside if you don't team fight like that much. Ah, I guess it was okay. Yeah, rare game though. To have that much magic damage. I, I mean, I hope you are satisfied with that. Let me go into game though.
Actually, though, I have a problem. I think champion difficulty isn't about how long it takes to learn its mechanics, it's about how rewarding it is to play champion well. Like champion is more difficult depending on how rewarding it is to play it perfectly. My friend thinks about mechanics, what's your view on topic? I think those are two different things that you're trying to describe. I think difficulty is the ability, like the level that you need mechanically and decision making wise in order to pilot the champion to a certain degree of level. And then there is another kind of like idea of like the champion's like skill ceiling, which is when you play the champion perfectly, how well, like how strong is that champion gonna be? Actually, you know, skill ceiling usually means like how much you can actually learn, like like how difficult it is to play the champion perfectly. But I would kind of coin some kind of other term that would describe. I don't know, chat can maybe get it better, but like. Um, something that describes the champions uh, like overall strength at different uh, piloting levels but yeah so I think your friends are kind of right there I think difficulty usually means how difficult it is to play the champion and not just how strong it is when played correctly I just, honestly man like top lane matchups so boring <laughs> like Garen is just gonna Garen is just gonna eat the wave always if he doesn't want to fight me, he doesn't have to, right? I swear, mid lane is much more dynamic role. Recently hit Masters for the first time. I'm gonna go for Grass Brock here. Okay, free Grass Brock. Game over for you. Later. Permanent HP acquired. I dropped uh, combat in the first one. Maximum potential? Yeah, potential is probably what you would want to use. Just encountered the worst thing in LOL, getting skill diffed. I'm doing everything I can, but he just spaces better. Disgusting. What do you mean? That's the best thing in League of Legends. When you, when you see an opponent that is just superior to you in every mechanical and macro-wise, you just admire their beauty of gameplay and try to learn from it. At least that's the way I look at it. Hey, I have recently subscribed to you. Thanks for all the knowledge. Shen players in season 1 and then season 13. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, try to get uh, blade positioning here. We have um, obviously a solid uh, 7 HP advantage already from our first crash block. Uh, actually, I need to take um, wave priority here because it's Garen, right? He has Q start. So I should be able to punish him if he goes up for this. Oh, well played by him. He sidestepped it. I mean, it was maybe my my bad and not his well played. <laughs> okay, spacing well. Oops, I could have pos postured a little bit more aggressively. I would have gotten the last out of. Try to get all of these. No. I missed a lot of minions here. That's my bad. I'm gonna put a ward down in case Xinza early ganks from level 3. Not very usual to do that. Solid trade. He was in minion web, so it's really good for me. I'm gonna push her up now. Don't let him get minions for free. I'm gonna shove on next wave, right? Crash this on this wave, I think. Maybe I should have crashed on last wave, actually. I'm gonna try to deny his cannon. Nice. Should probably dive here. Did I hit minion? I hit minion, that was bad. He has no W, no E. And look to punish. I can... Ah, no I can't. <laughs> I can? No I can't. <laughs> Lucidity boots first item not very good. Into top lane, but I'm gonna do it here. 
He's gonna play for ultimate. I'm um, not gonna kill him within the next six, next two levels. Uh, just I have perfect gold for it. So. And just have to realize I'm weaker in combat stats. But uh, I just outspace his um, E now. Good movement speed. I should hit the other mana minion actually. This was useless to hit this one. Block the minion pathing so that they can't hit the minion. I uh, screwed this up. Prep this. Prep this as well. Okay, it's fine. Hit it. Maybe force him out a little bit. I have XP advantage. Wave was really good when I died. I have messed that up so bad. I'll block his empower Q though. Just use W when he gets out of town after he has done one auto attack because he wants to do auto attack Q, auto attack reset. I, I messed that town up so bad because the Q missed. It must be done. He wants to go for minion, but I have E. I don't know where Xinjo is, so I have to be a little bit careful. I deal get ward down before I do anything. For sure, like this, so that we can deny. Block it again. He thinks he can get it off. I have to look mid lane. I think they're fine without me. Well played. I should have looked mid lane more. Maybe worth to try to deny heal on Silas. I'm gonna get ward down now. I'm not gonna. Play aggressively on the tower. Clears way fast. Oh, almost missed cannon. Got him. I have 13 CS advantage. Um, mid lane. Stack this for grasp. I'm gonna taunt on the tower here. Blocked it. He's not level 6 yet. Level 6 he beats me. I have ignite though. In 15. Since I was gonna be topside. I'm gonna play aggressively a little bit. Now he's gonna come topside. Now we back off. He's right, like, right here. Now we play aggress uh, passively always because he can look for a gank. I need to block his third Q auto knock up with W. Okay, they were mid lane. I can't ult that. We'll lose too much. Push her up a little bit. Do I ult on that? No. I don't wanna, like, I will lose top lane if I ult now. That's just really not worth. Maybe Garen is doing this. <laughs> I had to E because I would lose the minion. I want to get the uh, aggressive blade positioning. Yeah, Garen was helping there, but that's fine. He lost four minions for that. Immediately. Since I could just get them by himself as well. I have to be careful still, Fraxine. Block it again. Outspace E. Then can look to deny minion. Although I need to keep Sinza possibility in mind. Deny cannon. I don't know if the melee minion will kill it actually. Ah, it won't. Block it again. Just block every Garen Q. It's quite simple. Still not winning matchup after that. You need to still play it well. It doesn't it's not enough to block his Q. Block it again. Playing rotations. Now have kill window on next E. Need to watch out for Xin. I can't ult, guys. I can't ult. Unless I bait Garen to cancel it. Was Xin out there? And I'm this. Maxine's out here. 
Let me kill him. Got it. He waste flash as well. I'm gonna get crash proc here. It's good. We bring him top side for that. Uh, go for this. And then go um this and damn it. I'm gonna look for ultimate out of base. Yeah, go try something. I'm down to go here. I ulted too late. I didn't get assist. Nice. We got Barrow Splash. I'm gonna last hit this. <laughs> I'm gonna crash mid wave. Get tower plating, move top. Barred, Yana, 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 don't go, <laughs> clear the ward. Get out of range. Oh, I messed up the melee minion, that's fine. Okay, well played, Diego. Oh, 700. I have to play really short trades versus Karen. Block E. I can't fight in in his E. Block block Q, I meant. I think he has hit zero Qs this game. I think I blocked eight already or nine. How to win Anivia matchup? It's not possible. It's it's uh, it's disgusting, like you say. I can maybe get tower plating here. Q for extended out attack range. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna strong. This guy's going AP Varus. Play short trades, remember. Block it again. Too easy. Force him off cannon. Kind of almost dies. Got great chunk. Yeah, guys, fighting though. I have to go. Ah, uh, minion wave. Minion wave is bad. Use this. Maybe not worth. Well played. Can look all the bot line. Maybe got stop wave first. Down 700 dead mans. Don't auto attack, it would die. <laughs> I, I mean, I do auto attack once. Karan is ignite, so no TP angle. If I can get wave shot here, it would be really good. Delay auto. Move from Bummy Cinder. Tower plating. Hold it here. Got some air flash. I don't know if I get the tower plating. I can recall sell the D shield. I need help here. I'm gonna take the uh, wave because I want the gold for dead mans. Nice. Really beautiful. Recall. Should I go for tower plating? I don't think so. I have enough money. No reason to get that extra money. Delay tempo. I'm just gonna go back bot lane, I think. Because these guys are going top lane. Silas is playing well. Silas is playing really well. Yeah, I'm just gonna go bot lane. Smolder can go mid lane. Bot lane was shoved well, so it's gonna bounce back. Try to get um, deep ward here. Look, look, look how OP is Farsight alteration is. Look for a little bit of poke. Missed it. 
I'm missing the gets minion. Don't wanna take too much damage. You got um grade. Play for town here. Drop trade. Get Karma's W, then back off. She needs to overextend because she wants to keep W on me. Have to E flash Samir. I missed. This really bad. Okay, well played, guys. It was really bad to miss either. Like, it's really bad. It could result in us getting quadra killed. Smolder should get this, but I'm greedy. She missed it anyways. I don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna give her any farm. She missed the cannon minion. <laughs> Do I need the magic resistance yet? I could go Rift Maker second already, I think. But I think. But they have, do have. Hmm. Janna. Or sorry, Karma. I feel like it's never wrong to go Hollow Radiance here. Because they do have Varus damage. Let's get a lot of stats from the item. Plus Wave Clear. I see. Okay, she stops it. Just play it smart here. I yeah, can't, can't fight with Karma, but I can look to ultimate top lane. Nice. Macro swap here. Hit tower. I'm gonna tank tower for Silas. Herald, you say? I think I'd rather get enough for holo. Like, they need to respect this, they are two bot sides still, and I think Sinsa maybe on Drake. We get a lot here. We lost bot lane tower for objective bounty, which is not nice. Moving between every auto is really huge. I got my item, yeah, I'm strong. I get my recall off, there's no way gonna stop it. I'm gonna go top lane to protect objective bounty. Your base. Immediately. Fifty old. Flank. Solid fa flank and move. Yeah, give us for a play. And kill Samira. Let's see what we have here. Got double taunt. Kill Silas. Sorry, Varus. Nice. This guy's huge. I got stop wave now. Just protect, protect objective bounty. No blast gone. It's coming soon. Our wills align. Hopping over fall wall is faster. Lay out the deck. Riftmaker next. Riftmaker into Yaksha, I think. Honestly, you can just go Yaksha uh, for fight on, I think. The Tornmail wasn't that needed. I could sell here, but I think... Is it worth to sell? Is this item that good? I think it's quite good. Do I go bot or top? Charles is going bot, I will go top. Solid. Have you ever tilted? Of course I have tilted, I'm human. I think I am just a little bit... I have better perspective to league than most players, like better than average. So that will help me to not tilt. <laughs> Boom! I love that explosion. I'm 
I'm scared of. What am I scared of? I'm kind of scared of Sinza. Also, Karma. Karma Samira is kind of scary. I'm looking for Ult 16. Ult on Viego here, but I'm not killed. Bonk. Do they go for more? I catch wave. Yeah, I guess can go over the wall. Got an 800 rift maker. Can get Garen here. I missed. My bad. I, I, I played that really poorly. I can catch this guy though. <laughs> really? I didn't have energy for QE. I screwed that up really bad. That's my bad. I screwed it up multiple times. <laughs> okay. That guy's normal. Got Varus Flash. Sidestep. Chilling here. Can probably kill actually. Taunt kind of minion. Does it hit? I got taunt. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Execution. That's my bad. A little bit too much damage on that guy. I mean, it's good. It's gonna. Uh, it's gonna extend the game, right? So we get to play with more Rift Maker. Thank you so much for Dead Man's Plate build. I've won the past eight games in a row because of it. You're the goat. <laughs> Thanks, Firefunks. You want Hydra for waves? Hollow already gives you that. Yes. How unkillable would be if you go add Sterax after Rift Maker Yak? Well, I mean, you need to go. <laughs> I mean, you need to go really high in items to get there. Man, I should have gotten this kill. Like, there was a lot of room for outplay there. That flash and everything, I just played it kind of, like, I don't know, lazily. How better do I need to go with Ignite on top, or is this situational? Well, I play with Ignite because I find it to be more fun than Teleport. Teleport is probably more consistent because it allows you to bail out of situations, but I'm gonna be honest here, Ignite fun. Close to reaching by item spike. I look to get this. Yeah, I think Yaksho for fight item is the right call here if you go Rift Maker. The three call off. Could go Control Ward here for the team. Could also greed for 75 gold. I think Control Ward is the right call. Oh, I didn't Make sure to get Empower Q. Nice. Keep shut down that guy. Play smart here, play smart. Low. Control Ward this to no. Sidestep that. Run Q. Sidestep. Block it. Fight, need to watch out for Garen ulti. I wanna get Garen in front line and me in back line. I wanna tr transpose our positions here. Better Q. Block Q. I'm screw that up. Ignite to kill. Go Baron, go Baron, go Baron, go Baron, go Baron, go Baron. Moika moi, how is Solo cool treating you today? Elite, uh, I'm in a good position. I'm friends with Solo Kill, right? I only play on my main off stream, just full focus games, uh, working on my Korean Zen mechanics, and like, I'm doing well. 60% win rate, 1k LP around, and then I just come to stream and play a couple of fun games in Diamond. It's kind of chill. Yaksha uh, next, yeah. Hey, uh, Expedo, I want to thank you for mid Shen technology. I usually play Shen top, never thought I could play mid, thank you to you. I finally reached Diamond League. Nice! Good job, Tabby. That is huge. Is Rift Maker viable? 
I think it is. I tried to build it in one game in Challenger, but the uh, game just ends before the three items, so it didn't happen. <laughs> but I think it's viable. But specifically third item or fourth item, I would not build it first or second. It doesn't get enough value then, and you have better options. Trade-offs are too high. Catch top wave. I'll look for a ulti here. From the shadows. Full AP Shen for fun. I mean, it's not really fun to play that. I mean, do I ult here? That's, I mean, I could ult on Silas. It's insane. Got the kill. Get out of Karma W. I'm strong. Oh my god, my damage. Karma oversteps because I walk for Varus and not her. Let me get energy. Bro, let me get energy, bro. Ouch. What's the idea behind Riftmaker? Well, isn't it obvious, right? You buy Riftmaker to become tanky and do more damage, right? You have two items that give you resistances plus HP, so you're naturally synergizing with the resistances. Uh, get AP from HP that you have already built, uh, just turn into monster. Shen has high base damages, bad scaling, plus percentage damage uh, increase is much better. than uh, raw stats. Oh, minus it too much. 35 ultimate. Those guys are gonna suffer a little bit. I missed like every minion here. <laughs> Not the kind of minion I missed. Tower damage. Dead man's helps here. Functional giving me 40 AD. A little bit more, I'm level 16 actually. It's giving me 50 AD here. Let's limit test here a little bit. This guy's strong, remember? But I took no damage. Get dead mass plate as well, so you can outspace me. Yes, zeal dead mass plate, insane movement speed. Have you ever tried Sterax first item? Sounds really bad. Bink. I don't want to waste Ignite on that. I got you, Janna. Don't even worry about that. I mean, honestly, the Shiftmaker build is kind of crazy. I mean, honestly, like, okay, okay, games are low low, but like, kind of nothing. I'll play one more. Will you build this on your main account? If it's good enough, yes. Love you, bro. The Shen mid generally made me love playing this game again. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Jack's main here. Uh, these days, I see a lot of Shens in Platy low. Any tips for me to play the matchup better? Um... When you activate E, please do not let the Shen get uh, his down through you backwards. You know what I mean? So you need to outspace, like you need to always, you need to not let him go into melee range when you activate E. It's most important from Jack's side of the matchup. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but like when you are in E, you need to not let him get a taunt uh, like through you backwards so that he can get out of the E range, because he's gonna look for that. Have you considered adding matchups to MOBA guy, MOBA fire guide about mid matchups? Top ones are really helpful. You say yourself mid chain is really good. Sometimes better. It would really help if you added those two. For example, I have no idea what to do with something like Vex or Draven. Just say my E doesn't exist. Uh, I mean, I could do that. Honestly, it doesn't sound fun for me. Like I don't. I mean, I could maybe write them for myself as well. But I don't really have like any document with those ready. So it's like extra work. And I don't really approach matchups from like a tip point of view anymore. Like I just, there are some cues that help you in specific matchups, but I mostly like just play. I just play Shen and I just try to think what the opponent does. But I mean, if I have like some energy, I could do that uh, since you guys asked for it. But how is weather where you live? It's currently snowing here at the end of April in middle Germany. Yeah, it's snowing in Finland as well. 
what parts of Shen scale with AP? Well, this is something you could find from just going to League Wiki, but it's Q max HP damage and um, ultimate shield. Any updates on that big project? Not yet, soon. You don't approach from what point of view? From like a tip point of view. So like, uh, like, hey, here's the things you need to do versus this guy. But rather I just approach it holistically like, okay, this is a champion that can do this. And then I will just play my champion to the best of my ability. Like I don't think about the matchup that much. I think most mages are kind of similar. They have some ability that you try to dodge with your E uh, and hit them at the same time. I don't know. I, I will maybe do it. Maybe not. Oh, mid lane. Nice. Have you do you play against Kasante with Shen? I never seem to win this matchup. It's kind of difficult. I played it in Challenger a couple of times. He can solo kill you quite easily if you overstep. How much mastery you have on Shen? Uh, I don't know. Somewhere between 2 and 3 million. I don't really keep count of that. Um, but my main account has 900,000 and Axpetu has maybe 800,000. And then I have a bunch of other accounts with probably 100k each uh, or 200k. I'm field, but I'm fine with volley. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, 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 swap after the punch. Who filled you, baby girl? What? Just gonna install action here. Tapa ittes by Matti Hevonen. Appreciate that. It means uh, kill yourself in Finnish. I hope Matti you have a wonderful day as well. <laughs> I think Matti was maybe from last game. Maybe Matti was Garen from last game. <laughs> I'm going to say something that is like, okay, guys, if you have family member um, that is suffering from terminal disease, this is not going to be funny to you. And it's not a funny comment. But I will just say that in the in the video that I had my injury, like I talked about my wrist injury, there was like 1000 positive messages, right? Like everyone sending positive message. Then there was one guy who was like, Shen is bad champion. Please re-injure your wrist. Also get cancer. <laughs> like, I don't know what I did to that guy, but he must not like Shen players. Like, but it was so funny, like the like the just the contrast because everyone else is really like one thousand positive comments, and then there's that one dude like, hey, Shen is bad. Bleh. I bet it was Matti for real. Yeah, Matti is on some shit. Uh, let me ban Ari here. I'm gonna swap with Yone, so they think. I'm gonna take off my hoodie, it's quite warm in here. Is it true that uh, one bad comment takes away 100 good ones? I mean, I understand the sentiment, and I think, like, for sure, um, like, bad comments or, like, negative comments, uh, they stick with you much more. Are you normal, Shen, in terms of build? Um, I go hollow dead man's into Rift Maker. How warm is it here? 91, okay, it's nice. Just the league getting me hot. When do you think they will bring back the Ashen Shen skin? A lot of us been waiting on it. It will take a year at least. They, they, those rotations take quite long. Sh 
Shane was that guy's father. He ulted out for a pack of cigarettes and never came back. <laughs> what do you play when Shane is banned or picked by enemy? I dodge. I want to play Shane, so I dodge. I like my champion too much. Oh, the main top lane. It's been a year already since it released though. Yeah, but like, do they come out like every year? I don't think so. I think the Mythic Shop rotations are longer than that. You ever play Talon anymore? No, no. I had my Talon, my, my, my Edgelord Talon face is over, unfortunately. Guys, I don't know what to think, but I was thinking that Echo would be a champion that I wanted to learn. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on that? I was thinking of making like a series where I play Echo. I would like learn Echo. But it's like I'm having a lot of fun with Shen, so I'm not going to do it yet. But if I like reach my goals with Shen, then I could do a little Echo phase. Do I have Velikos matchup in mid lane? Yeah, I think so. Remix old Shen? Nope. Played it on one game. New Shen is superior in every way. I think you should try to master Kasante. No, but I kind of want something like... like Because I need to play champions that are... <laughs> Wait, what is challenge your... <laughs> challenge your 23. I, I need to play champions that are like slightly off meta. Because Kasante is like a pro pick staple, right? But I want to play champions that are slightly off meta. Like they are good. But they're slightly off meta because I want to be able to pick them in every game. And Echo is a champion that you could pick every game because there are a couple of Echo one trick bonus already. But it's not like a staple champion that people pick in like, you know, let's say in every one in five games. But I think Echo has a lot of like skill involved. And it's it's not just like pure mechanical skill, but it's a lot like decision making skill. Like for example, like you have to use W proactively. Like it needs to be very preemptive in, in usage. And I think that's really interesting in a, in a skill. This guy has ghost. Um, D shield. Oh, sitting in this bush. Are you thinking echo mid or jungle? I would primarily prefer mid lane. I'm really in love with mid lane right now as a role. I love roaming and I love playing mid lane matchups. So I think like the transition from Shen mid lane to echo mid lane would not be too difficult. Like obviously it's a it's a squishy champion. It's very very different to Shen, but like there's there's still a lot of similarity in play pattern if you play Echo with TP because you are still like you have that kind of global pressure slightly, and then uh, you also play like melee to range matchups in mid lane, and you also have this kind of like you look for engage with E angle, like the same way Shen has. So you're kind of spacing to get into range of E. And then you have drag throughs in with Q, like Echo can benefit from Q flashing as well, like Shen. Or like repositioning yourself to hit Q. So I think there's a lot of similarities actually, even though uh, like on the surface they are very different archetype of champions. Immediately. Remember go E start. I'm gonna ward first. He wants to get first strike proc. Dodge her Q. Or their Q. Delay auto act to get grass proc. It's really good here. Need to dodge the next Q here. Okay, nice. He missed it. Or used it on minion. Two seconds E. I was temp I was going for flash out like ignite, but it doesn't actually kill. It's quite it's like a little bit off because he used health potion. I didn't do it. I might need to health potion because I took that tower shot. That's my bad. I can kill him here if I want to. It's just not the best kill because I can't get the wave shot in. But this is actually fine because it goes that near. It's gonna eventually slow push. Udur can't stop my recall, I'm just gonna recall right now. <laughs> Go dark seal first item. I'm gonna do it, but okay. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I'm playing like Echo now. We're gonna go Shen Echo. Was Ignite necessary? No, but I wanted to guarantee. Like it's not it's not a big cost to pay for guaranteed kill. Hello Vayne, you are playing game? <laughs> What happened in Garden game? Uh, we won. Last Velkos I played was the best solo queue player in the world, Maggi Felix. So uh, this one is a little bit easier, I think. Or at least best solo queue player in Europe. Those trades were not very good. I have to be careful of Udor now. If he walks up, I can get MQ into E. Yes. Nice. I'll space him here. Force him off the minions. Okay, he just eats that up. That's actually good for me. It's good for me because it forces the wave to shove. This way I can keep him in danger. What? He hit me with that. That was sick. I kind of walked into it though. I might need to help portion. Of minions. He's losing a lot here. And a health potion. No, oh, do I need to? Like I'm just thinking about the Udur gank. Could also be Senna gank actually. Oops. Creep blocked. It's always your own fault when you get creep blocked. Like you, you could have prevented it yourself. Press on. Have ulti. One more auto attack and ignite kills. A health potion here. All the minion wave crashing so that I have E cooldown coming up sooner. He needs to stay. He's gonna get level 6 soon though. I'm gonna kill him. Mm. Okay, this is fine too. I get the uh, Lucidity Boots. Nice. You make a play. Why not go? Dive Draven, but yeah, I'm just gonna go get me the wave. I lose a little bit experience, but it's good to get bot lane into a better position. He's 
E is larger than I remember. Really, I didn't get the shield in time. It's unfortunate. I thought lighting here. Step in. Oh shit. Walk forward, try to bait an ability. Block out attack. Maintain freeze. Push him off experience. Five step inwards. Don't let cannon. Nice. We didn't get. Maintain freeze. MQ prep. He wants the last step minion. I walk forward, push him off minions. And it's like, this is like how you, I don't know, I just feel very good about doing this, like I'm bullying a ranged champion as a melee champion. Yep, he needs to go for that. Okay, got both sums. Try to sidestep, build up. I can probably look for kill. Still pushing towards me. If I can get uh, slow. He wants to last hit the last minion here. Move forward. He's in very bad position here. Maintain freeze. Going to push to drop minion aggro. Can look for Rico. I should uh, scale it. Wait. Yeah, I should scale either before eating. Yesterday I won versus uh, Master Annie, and I am Diamond, all because of your teachings. Thank you, Shanshe. You are welcome, bro. Ah, oh, I didn't get MQ. I can probably chase. Need to see Udur here. It's gonna be really good here because some um, could also do magic damage. Top line fighting. I get dark still stacks here. Hit the taunt. And I get killed. Beautiful. I need uh, money for hollow radiance. I could also insta recall sell D shield. I wanna try to steal that. Gonna get it. I want tower plating or something. Fifty. I need to get one more. Cube. Beautiful ultimate, beautiful play, and can switch to blue trinket. It's gonna go mid lane now. Can bully the Velkos. Here and catch him. Big damage. Back off immediately. Dodge inwards. Slow. Dodge W. Walk back up. Posture. Posture. One second on E. Bait him forward. Bait him forward. Go on. Down the tower. He doesn't have W cooldown yet. 
Use Q for shield. Udder low HP. And play. He needs to recall. Udder bot side. I'm free to do whatever I want here. He stays. 25 on Ignite. Delay tower crash. So that um, I have closer to Ignite. Can look for kill angle. Bait is W. Got his ghost by posturing forward. Need to dodge his W inwards. One second on Ignite. Two seconds ulti. Ah, uh, E. Nice, this is good. He's checkmated here. Okay, Draven is coming. Locked all out attacks. Kind of low on energy though. I'm gonna walk up here. I'm just gonna let him. I need help here. Holding on me. Nice. More dark shield stacks. Catch midwave next. Get vision coverage. Can get this minion with E. Push wave. Velcos no ghost. I have both sums. Can kill in two rotations. Ah, I missed both. Tried to get both, missed both. Classic. Velka should be here. I can punish. Get out of tower range. Try to bait his W first. He has no W. He's dead. 10 stacks. Dark seal. No one here. Does Draven have ulti? I can push. Urga top. Raven moving. I'm gonna take a recall. They no way they predict this with Raven ulti. I, I don't think he does have it. He has some um, exit collector though, so he would kill on one. Solid game thus far. Gonna finish the dead mass plate, then move into Riftmaker. Probably looking at a uh, May Eyes in between as well. Why not? Bust out the Rabadons maybe for Titan, but I don't care. Why is Olaf moving here? I block autos. Dies to red buff? No. Yes, flash. Soft the minion up. Ult in 25. Okay, Draven ult. Doesn't clear all the minions because it stops on first champion hit. Block Sen out of. Don't wanna give him stacks. Five seconds, ulti. I pressure this tower still. 1300 is the gold amount. I'm still kind of scared of Draven because I don't have that much armor. Ideally, I go bot side here, actually. I can't ping Twitch. I need to... It's so bad for me to be mid lane, by the way. Like, Twitch should be mid lane, 100%. Because I, I can't play versus this guy. He doesn't have ulti. Need to dodge Senna ulti. Like, Twitch needs to be mid lane. Can't play that. And stay top lane because I want to get money for dead mass. Hey, wait, Udur is coming. I need to recall. I want to get those minions. I need the tower. 
Velgos is gonna come. Oh, I need to get out here. Execute, I did. Can't get hit by one ability. Dodge inverts on his Q. Oh, I'm dead. Sucks. Enemy rampage? He has four kills. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Well, this game is going to be interesting, actually. Morgana, hello. <laughs> hello, what you doing, bro? Oh, surrender all bros. Hey, we need some bot lane, we need some bot lane, please, guys. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen a more disgraceful performance from any top laner than this Vayne. Capix Vayne top lane goes 0 5 with 3 Shen ultimates. <coughs> 3 people mid, 1 bot lane, Belgus could come here. I beat him in 1v1 though, I flash ignite. That guy cannot play versus me with no ghost. They're just running it down mid. Ult on Olaf. Velgos also there. Maybe look for Ratatat. I, mean, I think we're losing the inhib anyways. Can't play versus Urgat. Can go for play. I mean Olaf can't engage because he has no ult. He <laughs> just dies. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> what are we doing? And they can't end, right? I have a little bit of baby flank here. I don't know if I want to play this though. Clear the ward. Let's stop wave. Need to have Urgot ult. Uh, 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 what's his name? Olaf ultimate. is doing this. Got it. Kill this guy. I could just recall. As you can say, man. Come on, bro. Are they gonna go for it? I have to move there. Thank you, Olaf. Appreciate it. Fight this, Ren is gonna be there. Nice start though. It's not that nice of a start. We're gonna flash this one. We're just gonna flash over the wall maybe. Need to keep the game alive here. Proxenos, Edge of Night. Vayne, can you do something? I have no energy, I can't. Guys, this is criminal by the way. I got him slowed. There's no flash. Morgan is AFK. Let's 
gonna be a dive top lane. You can call it a dive. Try to outplay it a little bit. Block it. Have to run out here. Gonna waste their time. Search the Urgot slow. Rock her edge of night. I'm dead. What? <laughs> Guys, what is my team doing, man? What is going on? <laughs> okay, Twitch. Everything black. Nice, well played, well played Twitch. Get Raven Flash. Olaf going monster mode. Press that ultimate. Broom! More, more, more. Um, failed the Q. Completely failed the Q again. Vayne is piss useless. <laughs> Kill this guy. How much range does this guy have, man? Hey, please proc her edge of night somehow. Yes. Kill this guy. I got move. <laughs> Kill the minions. <laughs> we can't kill, man. I'm taking 4k damage from these people. Yes, this is normal. I mean, I played it bad. Whatever. <laughs> okay, well played, enemies. Um... This can be it for the stream. I have a business meeting now, so I have to stop streaming. But we got a couple of good Rift Maker games in there. It was a solid attempt. This last game was a little bit weird. A little bit weird. But guys, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Wonderful start of the spring. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye.